used to this rivalry, um, just uh, what your experience was from it last year and just how much more intense does it get? Um, really just remembering uh, how bad we played at Tennessee last year and then how good we played uh, here at home and then the SEC tournament was a really good game. Um, but that's kind of what, what comes to my mind most. Uh, they're a really good coach team. Uh, have been. Rick Barnes has done a wonderful job there, so it'll be a good game for us. If they're not the same team as they were last year, do you feel like that kind of impacts the rivalry in any sense, or is it still going to be heated? No, nah, I think it'll definitely still be pumped. Uh, teams are really close, uh, not too far, like three hours down the road. So uh, Tennessee, I'm sure their fans will be there, you know, screaming and yelling. Uh, one of my favorite places to play, honestly, uh, since I've been here. Uh, I thought that was one of the loudest crowds. So uh, it's going to be really fun to play Tennessee. Um, from what I know, he shot like 500 times a game uh, in high school. <laughs> uh, but nah, I, I get to play him, uh, get to shoot around with him, you know, work out with him every now and then, play a little uh, fun one on one and stuff like that. But he's really good. He's really talented. He's gonna be really good. Um, I don't know too much about uh, his timetable or anything like that, but I do know he's he's gonna be really good here. Nate said a couple weeks ago that he had been going one on one with you. You've been helping him with his footwork. And yeah. How, how did that go? Um, honestly, we had been playing one on one ever since the summer. That's kind of how we got so close, and while we're roommates uh, on away games. Uh, but really, it's just uh, you know one of his. He has a lot of really uh, good strengths, but I guess one of his weaknesses was probably his foot speed. So just playing one on one with him and trying to get him to move his feet, you know, a little bit better, um, is really what that's all about. Is there any help for him? Uh, a lot better during that period. He has gotten better, but you know, uh, you know, me and Nate, we go at it. So I, you know, I try to cook him anytime I can. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is that you always for your play game? really well. Uh, what is it about yourself when you go on the road? You, you, you kind of get dialed in. And, yeah. You know, feel like you can get in the zone. Yeah, I think road games are probably the funnest for me. Uh, uh, being at Rupp and being at, uh, with these fans is really cool. Uh, best fans in the world. But just to be on the road when everybody's cheering against you, uh, it's just yield 12 guys on the, on the court and then and, and the coaching staff. So And everybody else is cheering against you. I think that's kind of a different dynamic than uh, everybody cheering for you, which is also really cool. But either way, you know, you just got to come out ready to play and, and play together and try to get a dub. Why does that motivate you? I've heard a lot of players through the years say, I love playing on the road where everybody hates me. Why is that such a motivator? Um, I don't know. Uh, everybody's wired different, I guess. Some people don't like it, uh, but I think something about it, about me, just is 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 driven. Where if somebody doesn't like me, you just try to prove them wrong. And I think we're trying to do that as a team as well. Um, people doubt us. People are going to doubt us this year, and we just want to try to prove them wrong. So. How much crazy atmosphere is going to get you all ready for the tournament? Uh, absolutely. We played in some of the big. I think we played in a lot more. I guess big games this year. Uh, crowd, uh, road games, uh, neutral site games. Um, so, you know, going into the tournament, I think that'll help us a lot.